what is the deal my youtube family it is your girl mira moreau and welcome to my youtube channel where i teach spiritual wellness manifestation and also give you motivation so today i'm going to be getting into how to tap into the energy of abundance in this time before i get into it how is y'all doing i hope y'all day is going very well um be sure to like comment and subscribe if you like any information in this video and um, tell me how it's helped you, okay? Before I get into it, I do want to talk about the two energies that are currently present on this 3D plane, Earth realm, whatever you want to call it, okay? The two energies that are presenting itself on the Earth right now. And I'm going to need y'all to listen to me really close. There's an energy of recession. There's the energy of, you know, lack and of being poor and of worry, really like, like chronic worry, chronic stress. Like I was just talking about in my last video, it's the energy of that. You know what I'm saying? Like the energy of lack or whatever. If I can just put it into one word, I will use recession. It is a very big recession energy presented itself. On the other hand, there is also an energy of abundance. Mm -hmm. There's an energy of transformation. There's an energy of positivity and um, a new door open to spirituality and just uh, freedom. It's also an energy of freedom. And I'm talking about in every aspect, mentally, financially, physically, all of that. That is presenting itself to um, how have I come to notice? Because I experienced both of them. And um, it's crazy because, yeah, I experienced both of them. And I guess I want to talk about like how, like, if you are experiencing that energy and like, you know, very worrisome, you find yourself on the internet a lot, and just, you know what I'm saying, always seeing bad things, or if you feel like you've been in a hole lately, okay, because I know a lot of people been saying that, a lot of people been feeling like giving up, and all of that stuff, if you've been in that place lately, tune in, because I'm really about to help your ass, if you listen, so, um, I was there too, like I said, and, um, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a feeling of trying to pull yourself out of a hole. And it's like right when you think something good is about to happen, then it just don't work out. And it's almost like you feel like you got bad luck. That's like, that's what that energy is. Let me tell you. I had to let more people go. Sometimes that we, we think that we hit our peak like, oh, I got rid of everybody I needed to know. Sometimes them people is the people that you actually don't want to get rid of. That's the first step. Every person, I ain't talking about everything as a whole, every person that you really strongly feel like you need to get rid of, please get rid of them. Because immediately after I got rid of the person that was like, you know, dragging me down, dragging my energy and all of that things quickly started to shift. And that's another thing that I do want to mention. When you follow these steps that I'm about to lay down for y'all, you're going to immediately start to shift into that reality. The only thing that you have to do at that point after you put in the legwork is trust. Okay? So that's what I had to do first. I had to get rid of some people that I actually wanted to keep around me, that I actually knew was in a sense breaking me down but i was trying to keep it there because that's what i was so used to you know what i'm saying i was so used to being around that one person and confiding in that person about everything knowing they really didn't give a crap about me oh i did it i ain't cut i ain't cut i didn't cut period I'm changing you feel me for real because y'all know how because of me. anyways <laughs> let's get into it so yeah 
that's the first thing you want to do you want to get rid of those people that you unsure about if you think about a person and you like mm, i kind of want to cut them off but i don't really know that's your cue to cut them off confusion in itself that's your cue to just cut it off you don't have to necessarily block nobody you don't necessarily have to send them a paragraph and tell them why you're making a decision that you're making but for the sake of you you have to do this okay period if you want better you got to start doing better and it start by removing those people now let's get into it habits what type of habits are you partying every night are you drinking every night are you spending more money that you don't need to are you like what what are you doing your habits if your habits is a problem for you and you know you gonna know if your habits is a problem for you and if they are taken from you you need to drop them cold turkey cold turkey okay and then your energy speak pour into yourself if you want to know how to practice self-love i got a few videos on that pour into yourself watch my videos on self-love because y'all already know what comes out of loving yourself good energy i don't know if y'all could tell or not but i know the dip like i'm the type of person i cannot hide what i'm going through okay i might not talk about it but you will either see it on my face and I, I will wear it on my shoulders i will wear it in my energy like i'm not the type of person that can hide what i'm going through i don't know like you know some people can put on a fake smile i can't if i go i'm like but sometimes when I look like that, people be thinking I'm mad, but I act, it's, it's weird, okay? But uh, more of the story, you can tell when I'm experiencing something. So when my energy is good, trust me, it is good. And um, yeah, that's one thing, you, that's the uh, third thing that you have to do is work on your energy with affirmations, with caring for yourself with feeding yourself foods of nutrients with taking in foods of life things that will build your spirit things that will build your energy make you feel good make you want to go out and you know what i'm saying like really be free and really live your life the energy that make you feel beautiful like for the past couple of months i've been feeling like i've been up and down with it but no like uh i always knew i was beautiful but you know what i'm saying like Sometimes when we go through things, it can strip us from feeling that way about ourselves. And um, as I'm getting it back, like, you feel me? I got on this thing. I got this thing on my head, y'all. I'm not, you feel me? Like, I'm looking regular, but to me, in my eyes, like, I look beautiful. You want to pour into yourself, especially if you are a woman. Build your confidence up. Go on, um... Go on um, YouTube, look up some confidence frequencies. You know what I'm saying? So you can start feeling good within yourself and start tapping it, tapping into your feminine energy. Okay, the fourth one I want to add is to... Oh, I just had it, y'all. My bad. I probably should have done notes. No, I should have. Uh, staying away from arguing. Stay away from arguing. <laughs> Anybody who know me, I don't even like debating with nobody. So, I know how arguing can quickly drag you the fuck down. Stay away from arguing, okay? That's all I can say. Like, need I say more? It literally drains you. Like, you could be mad. This, this is the crazy part about arguing with someone, right? You could be manifesting. You could be bringing so many good things into your life and you argue with someone and you feel so tired after. You want to know why you feel so tired after? Because you literally just exploited all of your good energy onto that person and also you alchemized it and turned it back. Okay? If you have a disagreement with someone, separate yourself or at least ask them, can we talk about this in a calmly manner? Because if not, then I cannot... I cannot jeopardize my energy for what you want to talk about. Do not argue with anyone in this time. And then over time, I give it. For me, it happened like two days. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, that was very significant. Anyways, for me, it happened in about two days because I knew what I needed to do. I just had to grab up the strength and trust, like trust in God, for real. Like really, really trust in God. Like it don't matter what you're going through. And even if you can't see it through clearly, I'm telling you, trust in God. Because God will really show you, like, I had your back the whole time. I was just waiting for you to do this. Now that you did this, guess what? I'm about to flood these blessings on you. I'm about to I'm about to overflow you with blessings. Okay? Period. And it can and it will happen for you. And I know because it happened for me. Okay? And then after you let these things go and you follow these instructions, after that, you keep continuing to speak to yourself. Keep saying your affirmations. Keep pointing to yourself. Check your energy. Make sure your energy is feeling right. That's for men and women. Do what you need to do. And after that, I'm sorry, I promise. That thing just cut off on me, honey. And I just deleted all of my dang old pictures. So I don't even see how my storage still say that. It's time to get a new snap. <laughs> um, anyways, what I was saying. So over time. You will tap into that energy, and it does not take long. Let me tell you, don't have it in your mindset like, oh, I just got to be patient. Oh, I just got to wait. And it's no, because I'm telling y'all, the energy is already here for you to elevate in your career, your love life, um, your mental health, your character as a whole. That energy is already here. The bad energy is here, too, but you have a choice to tap into either one. Okay, so right when you do this, these and follow these instructions, I promise you, it's going to start happening, happening rapidly. Okay, and I will leave my uh, Instagram in the description because I want y'all to tell me, um, for those of you who actually, you know, follow these directions and listen, I want y'all to tell me what happened when you actually did this. Okay, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I didn't do what I had to do. I said what I had to say. I am Mira Rose signing out. Y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. And it's time to tap into that abundance energy. I'm tapping in, so what you about to do? Okay, I'm out.